Okay, I uh, cooked my rice and my beans in advance, and you can see the moisture in here. Uh, that's needed moisture. It's moisture that would have been in there, so I like to blend that up. I've kept these sealed, um, and that's how I make it up in advance, and then put it in the freezer. So then I put... Forgot my, um, hang on. I have this wonderful funnel that really works great. So I put a scoop of rice and a scoop of beans. And then I blend those up. And then I put a scoop of rice on top. And then you turn your lid upside down, which I had forgotten on my last one. And then these go directly in the Instapot. If you just go ahead and turn your lid upside down, I don't like beans on top. Uh, it's hard to tell. It seems like it always starts uh, going for you know growing first on top, and so I might have one or two, which I do in this one. But I like my beans in a layer of rice. I don't know. I'm the one that thought it was okay to buy beans. So uh, you want to just just give a little loosening. Oh, and I've got to put the temple on. Hang on. I love these sheets of tinfoil that you buy. They're just a pre-pull and I tear them roughly in half and fold them once and then put them over. And you want to, it's to help keep water from getting in your jar. So you want to really press around and then I put two cups of water in my Instapot because I got worried that one cup wasn't enough um, and I didn't want any jars to burst and I didn't want the Instapot to go off and so one cup is what they say but I decided just to go with two. Got just finger tight. Make sure I get, yep, just finger tight. I'm just going to go ahead and get these. We need these to be turned upside down. Here it causes for, it's a modified lid. Um, I got this from, hang on. All right, and so I've got my lids turned upside down, and now I'm going to put my funnel on. this little pop-up funnel I don't know it's not perfect it has some sides where the rice can get stuck but I like it that it collapses so now I'm gonna do beans
Um, my husband hates mushrooms. Um, but these taste like bacon. Peak oysters. Peak oyster mushrooms taste like bacon. So I've converted my husband. <laughs> I just love mushrooms, and so it was so nice to find something he would eat. All right. Looks like I'm a little low on rice, so I'm going to put a little bit more beans in each one of them to bring up the, the volume. the beans out of my bag and then whoop, I forgot to shake hang on and yes you can I've discovered that you can put your grains straight from the freezer into your instapot or I guess even a pressure cooker and it doesn't cause any trouble rice on the top. I've got quite a bit of rice in my funnel. It's one thing I don't like about it, but <laughs> everything else I like. So I ended up with just a little bit of bean on the top. So, looks like I won't get my way with these three about the rice, but okay I've done quite a few of these I've got them growing now I, I'm always a person that loves to have ideas different ideas so I like three quarters full so I'm gonna bring those up and then on goes the lid Feels like something's in the way. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and tighten it lightly until I get my tinfoil on. My Instapot holds five of the pint jars. and lightly so we don't have anything uh, something about the lids being upside down I think GT from um, golden golden teacher Macology maybe GT I'm not sure his name but he lives in an area where it's legal to sell to grow um, um, to grow I think they call them magic mushrooms uh, and uh, so he predominantly works with magic mushroom strains, I think. We're just growing the old-fashioned edible ones. And so, there we go. Let me show you what it looks like. So, there is my Instapot loaded. No, it flash it's flashing, but when I look at it here, it's not flashing. So I'm gonna hit pressure, turn the keep warm off. I've got it set for uh, an hour and 40 minutes. And there is they are, and they're all just finger tight. Um, of course I have to put the lid on it. So, and you want to make sure it's not on venting up here. It's on sealing. And as long as this is, is, is down, it's safe to open. But if it's standing up, don't try to open it. The pressure is on. 
So now we will put pressure cook. I've got it preset because I've been doing these. And, and you don't have to press an own or anything. And you just leave it alone and you just wait until it's completely done. And there it goes. And it does its own thing. Um, instead of 15 PSI, this is 12 PSI. Um, and so I put an extra 10 minutes on. So, hear it boiling in there. It sounds that way during this process, and it's okay. Just so you know. This is what my grain spawn looks like. It's still a little hot, fresh out of the Instapot, 140 minutes and ready for inoculation after they cool down.